In less than an hour, Orange County Sheriff John Mina will present an updated use of force policy to a county citizens review board. News six is Jerry Askin following this developing story for us tonight. Jerry, the sheriff says these changes are effective immediately. Matt, yes, it actually all went into effect last Monday, and it's happening at a time where, you know, so many people all over are calling for more police accountability and more police transparency. New since four, I spoke with a former Orange County commissioner who's on that Orange County Advisory Committee. We've seen countless protests all across the country, even many right here in Central Florida, all because of what happened to George Floyd. And tonight, amid calls now more than ever nationwide for more police transparency, the Orange County Sheriff's Office Citizens Advisory Committee is meeting with Sheriff John Mina. I think the advisory boards are a great way of communicating through citizen representation. Former Orange County Commissioner Scott Boyd is on the committee and is looking forward to sharing ideas tonight. So I think tonight will be, um, will be very educational for all of us as well and bring you know new ideas that maybe otherwise may not um, you, may, you may not know about and so far sheriff mina has already adjusted the sheriff's office use of force policy effective last monday that deputies must intervene if they anticipate or observe the unreasonable unnecessary or disproportionate use of force we've been training in that for years but i just wanted to make it clear especially during this uh, time of, of frustration for our community and our whole nation <laughs> This coming days after a deputy was seen on video using his baton to smash a woman's car window, when investigators say she refused to exit her car during a traffic stop, she has not been charged and the deputy is still working. Yeah, and the sheriff said he's still investigating that case. Meantime, that actual meeting happens here at the sheriff's office at 6 p.m. tonight. There are nine members on that um, citizens advisory committee, including one vacant spot right now. We're live in Orange County. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results. News 6.